What's up guys? My name is Dave Vitanis, 25 years old, born in Lithuania, um, raised in Chicago suburbs. We're over here in Long Beach, California. Been out here since 2015, started riding at nine years old. And yeah, this is my BMX story. So I started off actually riding aggressive inline skates. Um, I would do that with my brother. He was a big influence on that with me. I would go to skate parks with him all the time. And um, then they opened up a new skate park right around when I was like nine near my house. And I seen people like airing out this eight foot quarter pipe, just blasting. There was like old Chicago locals, like we don't. And like, there's some people over there just seen them blasting quarter pipes. And I was like, I want to do that. Like, so then I like, you know, I had my parents uh, talk to them. They got me, ended up getting me like a mongoose for Christmas that year. And then like, since then it's, um, we had a really, really big riding scene over there. Um, we had like probably like 10 kids or so that would just consistently go to the skate park almost every day. And like, so that just really pushed me and like, you know, kept me on the sport and just, yeah, just watching people kill it and just kind of wanting to do that. Like just really, really pushed me. So I know I was still in grade school when I started riding. Um, I entered, I remember I was like, I probably was in like sixth grade when I entered my first BMX competition, actually. Um, I remember I ate shit, knocked myself out at that. I was trying to little one-hander over a box jump. But yeah, and then like, like I said, it was just a really big riding community by me in the Midwest. It's definitely a very heavy scene. Um, I remember seeing like dudes like Timmy Theus, Brian Konchisky pull up to my skate park and just being wowed away by them. But then, like I said, there was like just local riders that um, my local park, it was like a pay to, you had to pay like two bucks to get in there. But there was this one dude that worked there, Adam Satala, and he would just always help us out. Honestly, all the dudes that worked there, they were like heavy BMXers. So they would just like post up with us, teach us tricks and just push us to like learn new stuff. And that's kind of really what got me into it and like kept me going in it. So I learned like most of my BMX tricks from the locals over there and like just the homies that I rode with all the time. We all were at like the same, like we all started riding basically at the same time. Of course, some people a little bit earlier than others, but we all were like pretty much at the same level and just would really push each other. We'd watch like BMX videos. I have like two fat drawers full of Ride BMX magazines and like Transworld BMX when that was a thing and um, that like just what reading articles on it and just like I said some of the pros would pull up and like um, the people just working at the skate park they would always like just help me out and like um, you know really just push us to learn new stuff and give us tips and tricks because they were definitely like you know a couple levels up from us and um, so it was always dope having them like you know around to push me and teach me new stuff. Feeling like I'm Chase Hawk. It was a lot about style and just like, I remember just mostly like in the beginning, just learning air outs and just like spending a lot of time just like learning like the fundamentals, like hitting, like learning how to air out, hitting box jumps, like, you know, doing all that. But like, you know, definitely started off with just like basic one handers. Like I used to do a lot of can cans and stuff like that. And then like 180s, 360s came from there. And then, um, yeah, just kind of, you know, kept progressing from there. And um, like, you know, eventually bar spins, tail whips, things like that. No, yeah, there wasn't that many like, cause like 16 years ago, it wasn't that many people making like, you know, YouTube videos and tutorials and stuff like that. You know, I'm sure there were some, but like, I didn't really like, know about them and then um there was this one there was one actually youtube channel i can't think of what it was but it was some bit it was like a bigger brand and they would go link up with pros and like they would like you know do tip tricks and things like you know um trick tips and things like that and i would watch those but like a lot of just kind of watching people do it and just asking them you know hey how do you do that and like just kind of learning from the locals and stuff like that um i'd say it was like the where we mostly learned it um and yeah just kind of people around us we had we were blessed to have like a lot of good riders around us and they were all pretty cool and you know would give us like some time to like teach us stuff so 
Yeah, that was in Chicago. So my local skate park was Westmont Skate Park. Um, and that's where I learned on it mostly everything. Um, there was like a few more like famous skate parks around us, like Scrap Skate Park. I didn't really get to ride there, but that's where a lot of like the OGs had learned everything. It was like they had a foam pit there and stuff like that. And then um, there was like Four Seasons Skate Park that's still around and still killing it in the BMX scene. Um, they, my parents would take me there all the time. And like that was a really big place where I learned a lot of stuff because it was an indoor. So like in the winters, we were still able to go ride all the time. And then when I got older, um, like when I was like 16 plus, there was a skate park called the Kitchen Skate Park. And that had a foam pit and a resi ramp there. So they had like a resi spine, resi fox jump, um, resi quarter pipe. And like, so it was like, that was really like a next level. It was uh, Brett Banner Sandwich's training facility basically. And he opened it up to the public. So it was like big ramps and like, it was always heavy hitter sessions there. It was um i would leave school and just go drive two hours to indiana to go ride there almost like on a like two to three times a week at least if not like some weeks every day um, and that was definitely fun Yeah, so my favorite trick, I would say, I've always loved tail whips. They just feel really nice when you catch them um, and do them clean. Like they just, they just, yeah, just a really good feeling trick overall and air outs and box jumps um, out of stuff. It's just, I would say that's one of my favorites, but um, honestly, my favorite thing to do is still is just to flow around and blast air outs and things like that. I like to just hit hips and, you know, boost big quarters and things like that. It's um, whenever I have a chance to, you know, out here in California, I haven't had as much, like, unless you go to like, um, some skate parks like Volcom where they have big bowls that you can ride and stuff like that. But, um, and then like for a street, I just love like hitting handrails. Um, just honestly, just double pegs out and down handrails, just hitting rails. Um, I've never been too big of a stair guy. I always hate taking big impacts. Uh, I'll like, you know, I'll hit stairs. Like when I'm feeling like, me and my buddies in Santa Barbara, when I was living out there, we would um, film video parts and, you know, I'd have to get some clips on stairs and stuff, but it's really always just been anything that can feel smooth and clean and like, I can ride away from feeling nice. Like, you know, I feel like when you like blast something down a huge staircase, it doesn't feel good anyways. Like, you know, you know, you're hyped and you landed it, but like, it's not like a smooth feeling. I just like anything that feels smooth and like, you know, yeah. Yeah, some people do definitely. Some people do enjoy it. And it's that like, I mean, it's a huge adrenaline rush because you know, like, it's like, you can get wrecked real quick down a big stair set. And like, it's, yeah, it's definitely, it is a good feeling, but it's like, yeah, your ankles can only take like, you, you know, I don't know, you go hit like, if you're sending a trick down a set like all day, then like you're feeling it the next like five days, you know, whereas like, yeah, rails and stuff like that. You can stay a little, like, I don't know, you can try something like 20 times and like your body still can go for a little bit more. Oh my God. So yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of like concussions and things like that. I remember my like, as far as, yeah, I mean, for worse falls, I've, um, yeah, I mean, I've knocked myself out a lot of times. I remember, my first contest when I was probably like 10 years old or something like that, I um, was doing a one-hander over a box jump and completely missed my hand, knocked myself out. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of concussions. Um, I've messed up my like knees a lot. I have like definitely a lot of like stuff like that. But um, I remember at the kitchen one time I had, I was doing a tuck no hander over a box jump and just like cased it and just went completely over the bars and just like completely knocked the wind out of myself and knocked myself out. And it was just, that was a rough one. I had that one on film, but um, yeah, that was definitely a rough one, but I've been blessed to had, be pretty, pretty decent with my fault. It's mostly been knockouts and things like that. You know, I haven't, 
I've broken like fingers and stuff like that. Like I was at San Diego la like last weekend and messed up my finger. It still hurts, but it's pretty chill right now. Um, but you know, just a lot of, a lot of small stuff for the most part. Good knock on some wood or something, but, um, yeah, it could, it could always be worse. You know, I mean, there's like, I mean, what happened at like the van skate park, like, you know, you never know what can happen. Um, so it's definitely, I feel like it hasn't been horrible, you know? Still definitely, like, it still gets me really stoked. Um, I definitely think my riding has changed a lot. Like, I'm not, like, I would definitely say, like, three to four years ago, I was definitely, like, just trying to send it a lot harder and, like, just really, like, I don't know, just going for gold and just, like, really, really trying to, like, progress, whereas now I take it a little bit more easy. I, like, I still, like, you know, I still enjoy sending it and everything, but, like, I'd say my riding has, like, I do a little bit more what I'm comfortable with rather than just constantly sending like the biggest stuff I possibly can. I mean, I used to like, I would chug like, you know, multiple energy drinks and just like be hitting, like just going hard, hard. And like, I think it's like, now I like to flow around a little bit more and do stuff that feels nicer to me, you know? So, um, yeah, but I still, you know, of course, enjoy progressing and I try to push myself as much as possible. I mean, I like to think that I ride for the of it, but at the same time, I am a pretty competitive person. Like, I'm not gonna get, like, I don't know, growing up riding in Chicago, like, we're all, um, we're very, it's like different than LA, or it's, I don't know, in Chicago, it was really like, you would like, I would have like the five homies or six homies that like, we're all like, like, you better do this right now. Like, you know, like, we would be like, you won't, like, I don't know. It was like, really, like, we were pushing each other and like, you really like, wanted to prove yourself like all right i will do this because you have like your four homies like doing the same trick like you got to do that and like so that really made me a pretty competitive rider i would say but um at the same time it's my god yeah i don't know i don't like you know i'm not going for like i'm not a contest rider i'm not going for like trying to get sponsors things like that i'm definitely doing like kind of what's fun for me and um you know being an adult like got work life i got my dogs and everything i got stuff i gotta take care of so now it's just more um you know i do it for fun and things like that and just kind of pushing myself and you know seeing how much like i compete with myself the most i'd say now rather than like going up to a park and trying to like be the best rider or something like that you know it's it's kind of like doing whatever yeah being the best that i can be at the parks and stuff like that there's nothing wrong with like riding to get sponsored and like yeah not like you know definitely not bashing it if I, but like it's just yeah like i don't know i was never you know, when i was younger i definitely like always had dreams of riding for red bull and stuff like that but it's like it's definitely in the top like you know you got the like logan martins and stuff and like brock rayford just going absolutely insane like and once i realized i wasn't that i was like all right i'm just gonna like film video parts of my friends and like push like that as hard as i can or like try and do like little video projects and things like that with people i meet and like that i really enjoy like having stuff to look back on or just like even just making instagram edits and having to every time make it a little bit better than the last one you know I, li I like doing that kind of stuff i feel like that's like how i compete with myself So as far as like riding skate parks or like street, I'd say I enjoy, I definitely enjoy riding both. I really, really enjoy going out in the streets if I have some homies to ride with. If I have like, even if it's just one other person, I really enjoy going out, hitting the schools and stuff like that. Or like when I live here in Long Beach, like just popping out and going for a quick 30, 40 minute cruise. 
Um, now that I'm more in the suburbs, I'll like, if I'm riding by myself, I'll go to a skate park because I know I'm going to get a session in and I know I'll be able to like ride and do what I want to do um, versus like spot searching. I haven't, I've never been too much of like a spot searcher and things like that. I like going more to a school or going where I know I can ride, you know? So it's like, yeah, if it's more of a city, stuff like that, you know, you're going to find spots. So like, I love riding that, but like, yeah, I'd say now I ride more skate parks in the street. But on the weekends, you usually catch me riding some streets. Yeah. Yeah, I still have a lot of homies out there. And like, I'm going back there this winter for um, like kind of a longer period. I'll probably be out there for a month. And I'm really excited to ride with everyone. Everyone out there is, um, I mean, yeah, they just kind of really like to go hard. And um, so I do enjoy riding out there, but I don't. I miss, I miss the riding, like I miss all riding with all my homies out there, but at the same time out here, it's sun, like it's winter right now, you know, it's December and we're, it's sunny, I'm wearing a t-shirt. So like, it's hard to complain, you know, you can't really, yeah, like I definitely, it, it, they both have their pros and cons, you know, I definitely, but I'd say riding, I enjoy riding out here more just cause it's year round, you know, it's, yeah, you can go ride every day. You don't have to, I don't check the weather ever, you know, like, it, you know it rains like five days a year or something like that i'm probably a little bit more but you know like you rarely have to worry about anything you can just really get on your bike and go whereas out there it's like you have like you know i don't know but it would get like out there it's nice too because you you sit through the winter and then it's like 35 degrees and you're outside because it feels like it's warm compared to like you know like five degree day i'm sure in new york it's the same thing you know it's like you ride through like it pushes you to really like go out and have a session even if it's the weather isn't perfect so like i think it makes riding in the midwest kind of creates that extra drive um because you know you don't have it's not like given to you every day you know you gotta you gotta make that session happen sometimes whereas like out here you don't necessarily have to make that session happen all the time but it's yeah i mean you can't beat the weather out here and like the skate parks are killer too out here. You have so many at your disposal. Just ride as much as I can, hopefully pass it along. Um, you know, I want to, you know, one of my life goals is to have a bike shop in the community and just kind of try to push the dream and, you know, just push the passion on to, you know, if my kids want to do it one day, um, I would love to do that and, you know, push it on to them, but just really keep riding as much as I can. And um, yeah, I don't, yeah, just film. I want to film a few like video projects, things like that, just to have some look back on. We already, um, me and the homies, like when I lived in Santa Barbara, we had our team Edgework. Um, when we filmed three, we're about to, um, this winter, we're dropping our third full length video. Um, we're going to do that in January. Um, so just kind of hopefully film more projects, things like that, and just um, be able to spread it to as many like, you know, people as possible. But, um, yeah, that's kind of, you know, I just be able to stay on the bike as much as I can. So like for me, BMX means like just, it's just an escape and as corny as it sounds, it's just, you know, it's just that, yeah, escape from everything. You can get on a bike and just really go and cruise and just kind of get away from the world. And, um, you know, it, you push yourself. It's like a video game. You know, you're always trying to forget. Harry Maine said it like, you know, you're always trying to get to the next level and it, um, I think it really teaches you a lot about um, yourself and just, yeah, it, um, to me, it's just really, really an escape and trying to, yeah, yeah, I'd say that's kind of what it means to me. It's just, yeah, my escape and my passion. David Tennis, I'm 18 years old. I'm here week three and I love to ride bikes. When I was younger, I, uh, I was blessed to be able to go out to Woodward where in Pennsylvania, where I met a lot of people um, and met a lot of homies down in like Florida. So I went out there and wrote, traveled to Florida a lot to ride BMX, went out to Pennsylvania. Uh, I wouldn't be living in California if it wasn't for BMX. I came out here to ride, like to ride year round. Um, you know, I went out for school, but it was, so I came to California so I could ride, you know, it was, that was my main, uh, my main thing I was thinking of when moving out here was just to ride and it's, you know, I've gone San Francisco, Southern California, Texas, Illinois, a bunch, Indiana, Michigan, like a lot in the Midwest and um, yeah, I mean, Ohio. It's, it's brought me a lot of places and I met a lot of really, really cool people through it. So um, yeah, I mean, it's 
BMX would it will introduce you to a lot, a lot of people and you know, like make make friends everywhere. Like, you know, I can go to Florida and like go hit up a bunch of people and go stay out there for a while. Like there's a bunch like I don't know, it'll make you travel a lot and like I feel like that's one of the really cool parts about BMX is that you can't it does open up that eye for traveling because it's not like you're just going out and I don't know, just going out to vacation to vacation. Like, you know, you're going out to see something new and go ride and like, you know, you're sharing it with like other people that have the same passion and it like, you just instantly click with other people when you meet them that ride BMX, you know, cause it's, you know, you share that same passion and that same, you know, drive. I mean, honestly, all of my friends are through either riding BMX, through stunning motorcycles. It's, um, I've met them through like, you know, doing my passions. I definitely, you know, I still have some homies that are just, you know, I just kick it with, but for the most part, like I have to have some kind of activity in common. I can't, I'm not really much of a, just a kick it and like go sit at a beach kind of person. Like, you know, I gotta, I gotta be doing something. I haven't been riding out the country. I really want to. Um, Barcelona is a trip that me and my friends have been planning for a really long time. And I really hope that that's something I can make happen. Um, I was born in Lithuania and then I've gone back there a bunch and I really want to go out there too. Actually, that was a lie. I did. Um, I had my BMX bike when I was younger in Lithuania one time. Um, and that was really dope riding the parks over there. It was definitely a bit of a different scene and um, that was really cool. But um, other than that, I haven't haven't gotten to go out the country much yet. I really wanted to go to um, Fies or Fees, however you say it. It's a big, it's like a big street competition out there that everyone goes to. That seems crazy lit. Um, that's like it just seems like a really fun party, street sessions, everything. It just seems like the mecca of BMX, kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's simple session, same same thing, you know, simple session I would love to go out to. That's another one that's been on the bucket list that hopefully I can make happen one day. You know, it's definitely, definitely on the goals. So other extreme sports too that I'm into. Um, I, I ride well, mainly a stunt motorcycles on the side as well. Um, I love doing that. That's definitely one of my really big passions that took over a big portion of my life these last two years. Um, and yeah, that's been a really, really big passion of mine. And then, but I love riding skateboards. Um, I injure my hands and stuff a lot, BMXing. So I always love hopping on a skateboard and cruising around on that. Um, just doing like basic transition skating, things like that, and half pipes and bowls. And then um, I grew up riding aggressive inline skates. I actually just copped another pair like a few months ago because um, my girlfriend's been getting into it and killing it on the skates. So like I wanted to be able to ride with her every once in a while. Haven't been hopping on those too much just because I want to ride my bike usually when I, you know, if I'm going to a skate park, but um, I'll hop on those. But yeah, right now mainly just BMX and yeah, um, stunning motorcycles. That's a, that's a tough one because it's, it's a lot of, a lot of everything. I mean, I love watching people. I mean, growing up riding, it was a lot of my local dudes. Like there was um, this one dude, Adam Satala, uh, We Don, he's actually out here in California. He does, I don't think he rides BMX bikes anymore, but, um, and then seeing dudes like Timmy Theus riding when I was younger, he would pull up to my local park. Um, JP, he would go ride over there and then, I had like some OG homies like John, like this one dude, John G or John Quilla is out there. Um, he showed me a lot of ropes and stuff and definitely ride like, you know, 
he was a big influence on my riding when I was younger. Uh, but, and then as I was getting older, a lot of park riders like Brett Brandon Sandwich, Kevin Peraza, um, people like that, or Logan Martin, like those, I used to watch all their videos, Kyle Bulldogs. Um, and then now like, it's just um, kind of just whoever I'm riding with and things like that. Like I just really get stoked on the crowd that I'm around. And then obviously, I mean, see watching edits like killers like Garrett, you know, Brock Rayford riding. Um, yeah, I mean, just a lot of just watching a lot of street killers ride. Alex Donacci, I love his riding style. He goes crazy and does a lot of unique stuff. Um, and then even just like watching like some of the like um like some of the youtube vloggers like anthony panza i love watching his stuff he makes riding look really fun and i think he gets a lot of people stoked on stuff um and yeah like bill perry like i remember watching his videos all the time um when i was younger riding um because he just used to make bmx look really fun you know and yeah just a good time but mainly right now just mostly whoever i'm riding with you know um, like there's a few locals around here that always like I get stoked whenever I see him riding like Dan Crook He'll pop out all the time and like his riding is insane and always blows my mind and um, Yeah, just yeah, a lot of a lot of the local dudes out here are definitely killers and um, Speedy G is another homie that when I was living out here I would ride with him all the time and he was just an absolute madman. He would do just crazy craziest tricks over sets and everything down ledges and he just can link together lines and I always like love seeing that. Just yeah, kind of doing a lot more oppo grinds and lately I've been trying to work on my manuals. Growing up a park rider, I never really linked, did a lot of manual stuff other than like basic deck manuals. So my manual skills are like crap and being out here, everyone knows how to manual and link stuff up together really well with manuals. Like forgot that kid's name yesterday that we linked up with that blonde kid at Stanton, but he was doing some crazy manual line. Marcel, yeah, he was doing some wild manual lines. So like seeing that, like now I just try to do, I try to link a lot of manuals together and just do like stuff like that. Um, just getting a little bit more technical. And um, yeah, I've only been riding four pegs for um, a little while, not too long. So having that, like just doing a lot more apple grinds and stuff like that too, has been fun and just, I never really messed around with ledges and I've been doing a lot more ledge stuff lately too. As far as advice I would give for a kid, just to really have fun and enjoy it. Just whatever, um, whatever you enjoy doing, just really like push yourself and stay on it. It's definitely not easy to be learning tricks all the time and you know, you're gonna wreck a lot and everything like that, but just sticking with it really. It's, um, it's definitely, yeah, I mean, it's an amazing sport and just, just really sending it and just not being scared. Confidence is key with every trick, you know, if you're really confident that you're gonna, if you're fully sending it and committing 100%, you're not gonna fall nearly as much versus if you're trying to like half-ass tricks, um, you're gonna hurt yourself a lot more doing that. So really just giving it 100% if you are trying to learn something new and you're sticking with it, you know, it's not gonna, you're not gonna hop out on a bike. I mean, I guess some kids nowadays do hop on a bike and three months later they're doing tail whips, but um, it, yeah, I mean, it takes, it takes time to learn everything. I mean, I've been, like I said, I've been riding for 16 years and I'm learning new things every day, you know, and it, it definitely comes with time and just sticking with it really because it's an amazing outlet and um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I really don't know. I never had too much interest in team sports or anything like that. Um, I did gymnastics for a little bit when I was younger, but that was, I mean, I was already riding BMX bikes at the time. And I remember my coaches would hate it because I would go and like after practice, I would go out and like ride bikes and I would get hurt riding bikes. And they would be like, what are you doing? Like, you know, it was like, I don't know. It would, they would, I just remember like, I was always like, nah, like, you know, I need to be riding. So like, I really have no idea at all what I would be doing if I wasn't riding BMX. It's been, I mean, since I've been nine years old, it's been my whole life, you know, every day after school, I'll go to skate parks. It's, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'd probably either just be, yeah, I don't know, either out partying all the time or, you know, probably doing something not too productive. I don't think I would have taken, um, a lot of the homies that like I was hanging out with definitely weren't, wasn't always the best crowd and everything like that. And, um, it just, yeah, I don't know. BMX always kind of kept me away from everything and just, um, yeah, just kept me on track with, with life because I just had the passion for it. And, you know, I just didn't want to, I just wanted to keep riding. 
Shout out to the Edgework team. Um, they're the homies from Santa Barbara and um, they really pushed my riding a lot. The homie Nick Zuelke, um, he really pushed me to get my first video part, worked with me, really shaped my riding a lot. He was a huge influence on it, worked with me on clips, everything like that all the time. And yeah, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, that's the main people and just all the homies that I ride with all the time. Yeah, shout out to Life Behind Grips for putting together this interview. Um, it's really dope meeting them and, and yeah, stoked on to be able to be part of this project and filming this. Mm-hmm.